Last year, they asked this question, the name of the street, the name of the street given to the R102. Now, there's the R102. This comes from last year's question paper. And few people could do that. This has to do with map orientation, people. If you want to answer that question, you've got to go to your orthophoto map. And you've got to see, but where, where's the corresponding road that they are talking of? about? There's the road going there. In other words, that is the, uh, the R102. And if you follow that road, you will see there's the name that they've been given on the orthophoto map, and the name of that road would be Four Trekker Road. So people, you must be able to orientate your, your, your map with your orthophoto map. That's only one uh, example of such a, such a question. There are, they, they could, there are um, examples of many other questions where you should get, they ask the question on the topographical map, but the answer is on the orthophoto. So you've got to be able to orientate uh, the two. Now, people, that uh, brings the, the, the second question paper to, to an end. I hope that that has helped you to, 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 to answer a few questions. Remember the question that you must ask, in, the question in your mind always, what must I look at to get to the answer? When they ask you a question and you don't know the answer, don't panic. Ask yourself simply, what must I look at to get to the question? And if you can do that and you know your content, people, you can get lots of marks in your in your second question paper.